before I let you watch the vlog, I wanted to thank Wild for sponsoring this video. More on that in a minute, but for now, enjoy the vlog. Guys, we're gonna have a fun day today and look who's in the car. Can you show everybody, please? It's face on ball day. Ah! It's gonna be such a good day. Do you know how long it's been since we have been together as well? Yes, it's without been too else. long. Wow. So, have you told them where we're going? No. We're going to Stratford upon Avon. We're going to say Stratford. Stratford upon Avon, which is. Oh, will you put the volume down because I'm going to get copyrighted. Shakespeare's birthplace. And why are you laughing at that? Because <laughs> you've been really excited about the fact that it's Shakespeare's birthplace. Because it's quite a cool thing to do. And we're going to go on a walk, which we were supposed to be there for 11, but we're going to be late now. What is that with animals? Wow. Oh my god, you've got a wildlife park right wow. here. Oh. Oh my god, they've got monkeys and everything. Oh, it's a conservation my area. my god, we need to go. We actually do. Maybe we can go there tomorrow. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna go on this walk. Do you know like that old people do when they're like, um... Old. When they explain things, but also I'm quite <laughs> excited about it. A guided it. tour. A guided tour. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to a butterfly thing. A butterfly house. A place where they have butterflies. Yeah. And then... Well, this isn't on the schedule, we haven't found a place for this, but the main reason I'm going is so that we can find a cute tea place and sit outside and have tea and cake. And boat. And oh, we're gonna do the boats as well. This is the list, so you guys will see what we actually end up doing. <laughs> we're only about 40 minutes late. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. The thing is, right, um, is how is that not bad? Like 10 minutes is... No, we, we woke up at 8.30. I, I think 40 minutes is... <laughs> to be in that late we're not, to something. Are we actually 40 minutes late though? Yes, we are. We're supposed, we're supposed to leave at 11. At 11. I it's mean 11. 10. We're supposed to leave at 10. Yeah, but we left five minutes. It's 10.41. No, so yeah, we left five minutes. minutes yeah, late. 35. That sounds a lot less. Um, secondly, <laughs> me and Omar yesterday were like, yeah, let's leave early. And everyone was like, oh. Okay, but we also had four hours sleep the day before. Yeah, but we got a seven hours last night. Yeah. We were... We were. Yeah. I was tired Chicken this morning. Time. Yeah, I'm still tired. But you know what? We're gonna have fun. She's a fun forcer. So you know how like you guys know my family and how weird we are and stuff? I don't think Omar knows that. <laughs> <laughs> so this weekend he's been introduced to this. So he's a bit scared. Does he, is he overwhelmed I, or is he okay? No, I think he's all right. Maybe just, I haven't, just really, a lot. I haven't really had a conversation. I think you'll have a debrief at the end of the, uh, like tomorrow yeah, or the yeah. day after. Um, but do keep us updated about that debrief. Oh dear. <laughs> so guys, the sponsors for today's video are Wild. Wild is a natural deodorant brand that actually works. It's free of parabens and aluminium. It doesn't block your pores either. It's not an antiperspirant, but it keeps you smelling fresh. So this is the nice compact box it arrives in. The case is actually aluminium. It's really sustainable and reusable. You just... Make sure this is twisted all the way down. Press the side buttons and release. Get your new watermelon scent. Put that in place and twist it back up. There's six colors to choose from for the case. So I have this coral one here and the aqua one. And you also get a range of seven scents. They're all unisex. I've just received the watermelon scent, which smells so good. It's a little bit sweet, but it's really nice and summery. The refill packaging is made from bamboo pulp and it's 100% biodegradable. We like to hear. <laughs> the scent I'm currently using is the fresh cotton and sea salt one. I really, really love this one. It's really fresh. And I'm going to use the watermelon one next because I'm so ready for summer. So this watermelon scent is limited edition. So if you want to get your hands on it, I actually have a lovely discount code. You can use Anum for 20% off on wearewild.com. And what's the benefit of using natural deodorant? It's like good for your skin. And so the normal ones are not good for your skin. Yeah, they're not good for your skin and also they're really bad for the environment. So yeah guys, 20% off wearewild.com, use code Anum and enjoy the rest of the vlog. Maria only put clips of me looking cute as f***ing. <laughs> 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 Maria, keep that in. <laughs> I'm starting recording at some dead place now. So cute. I'm going to stop. Look at that blue door. Alina, why Where? are you so entertaining for? <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at this side, look at this house. Guys, is Alina always this funny? Yeah. Do you know what? The thing is, she wasn't when we were little. I don't feel like she was. I feel like she's gotten funny. Yes. Like, Ramish was the funny yeah. one. Yeah. And now she's just... I think it's because she's really over-dramatic. I was always this funny. 
I don't were. think you were. I when, think it was. When's this vlog out? <laughs> yeah, that's what I we mean, want. Alina, the vlog isn't even recorded. <laughs> no, yet. but like roughly when you planning on getting it. I'm gonna say a month, so you guys are not on. That's actually kids. really bad. Yeah. Do you like want to see us or do you want to see Stratford upon Avon? Comment below. <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. It's a really nice place. I wish we had our scooters here. Oh my god. So you guys, we were going on. We were on electric scooters. Yes, last night. Um, there's this uh, apparently in Birmingham. Well, not apparently in Birmingham. <laughs> there's just scooters all over, and then you have an app, and then you just they're electric scooters, and then you have an app, and you unlock them, and you just go on them. So there was like nine of us <laughs> riding around Birmingham um, in, on scooters yesterday. It was so fun. But also afterwards, everyone, anyone comment below and tell us why? Yeah. <laughs> <Come on>. My <laughs> whole my whole body is aching. Like my arms are aching and my legs are aching. I'm not hurting. I don't know. Are you? I, I'm not hurting. No, but I don't really get achy after after working what out. What about when much. you go to a jacuzzi? No. I'm not hurting, yeah. but that's because I couldn't <laughs> learn how to do it properly. No, and I'm not aching. No, aching. Uh, that hurt a uh, achy. achy, yeah. So why are we aching after just pressing a button <laughs> and riding? I feel like it's the vibrations. But also my arms hurt because they were like this for a while. I think mm. your whole, all your body's muscles are tense. Yeah. Oh, uh, probably. But then also, why do they hurt after a jacuzzi? <laughs> Mine don't. Don't they? Maybe you're just fragile. I think I'm fragile. No one wants Dombey. Metaphorical. Metaphoric. The, the point is, you want someone that's really amazing and loves you so much but doesn't take your shit. Yeah. That's it. That's what just that means. Just don't give them shit. Check yourself. No, and um, you give all my shit as well. Yeah. <laughs> She's very high maintenance. Do you not know her? No, it's I not, don't know what her is. It's not intentional. Like. Well, exactly. And the thing is, like, if you gave someone shit and they were just like, oh, all so the time, like, you, you don't want like, that. Like, period, are you like mean to Omar? Not really. No, I'm not mean to him, but I start fights. So it's not being mean. It's just sometimes. I was. I say this to Lena all the time, right? Like, if, I you're gonna, if she's gonna cuss me, Mario, don't put it in. You can put it in because we can have a discussion in the comments below. When you're on your period, before you get on your period, you get like moody or whatever. You take it out on I have a lot to say yeah? about it. Like your family and stuff. Yeah. If you go to work, you wouldn't take it out on your manager or like people you work with. You just yeah. force yourself to be nice to them or just be civil at least. Yeah. So why can't you do that at home? I do really try. I feel like I am getting better at it, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel do. like Enem is better now. I think that. That's good. I think that it's a literal chemical change in your body, and if you don't go through it, everyone gets PMS but at different levels, different amounts. Ramesh's point is that, yeah, you go through it, but you can control it with certain people, so why not control it towards your loved ones? The thing is, it wouldn't be PMS if you could control it. It wouldn't be a thing, it wouldn't be this huge thing if it was something that you can control. I'm not saying... Yeah, but you do you're control it. But you're you saying control to it. control it. No, but you do control it though, Alina. You control it while you're at work, so why can't you do the same thing at home? Why can't you give us the same respect you give to people at work? Who says I give people respect at work? Well, I know you give more than you give to people at home. I can't, because if you I didn't, can't really you would not comment right on this now. because I just feel... You don't PMS. I don't PMS, no. Uh, and I just, I don't know, like, if I was overcome with emotions i don't know if i'd be able to control you can. it and the thing is like you think that and i think it's cottage well we're going there i think i know why it is easier to take it well like it is easier to take it out on your family you know because you're at home you're in your it. environment yeah and like you, you can understand like, you can bully your sister you can't bully anyone in it exactly but um right <laughs> the, the, the thing is you're also with them longer yeah the longer periods of time exactly and also they probably piss you off way more than like your manager would. <laughs> the thing is, you, you get annoyed at, at your family and then you're instantly fine. You can't do that with people at work. But you know what it is? I feel like with Alina, she gets it quite badly. She'll get it a week before and then the week off. So that's two whole weeks of the month. <laughs> she's a bitch. And I feel like that's too much. Like one or two days of PMS I can kind of forgive, but two whole weeks I just think it's not right. I feel like this whole conversation is purely a personal attack on me. It's not a personal attack. I just want you to realise what you do to people around you for <laughs> half the year, basically. <laughs> I'm not going to apologise for things that I can't control um like chemical changes in my body and that's the end it's that's the chemical and, change and that's that on that and i don't even know if it's chemical i don't know if the hormone is it's chemical. a hormone man it's hormone chemical <laughs> i don't think so. well maybe i don't know i don't know if it comes under chemical
the thing is guys you know what we mean you know what we mean anyway i'm really glad we had this pms chat because i feel like pms needs to be spoken about a bit more girl chat like women need to stop like you know when they go to the yeah. bathroom and they hide like the pad in their hand oh or, like, my God, put it yeah. up their sleeve or something like, it shouldn't be a thing like yeah. now it used to be normal like, obviously I, everyone knows women have periods but i feel like with our like husbands and fiancés and stuff like it's just like they know like and it's yeah. absolutely fine like, obviously you just, like, <laughs> obviously like, they know like, Sorry, as in like you can just talk about it freely and yeah. it's not an embarrassing thing to talk about. Yeah. So. The thing is, if it was just all my, I'd just be like walking around with a pad in my hand. But with my brother-in-laws, I don't want to do that. But you can though, like when we were all on holiday and we needed pads, we sent oh, the yeah. boys to go get us pads. Mm. And this is a, such a funny story. So uh, we sent Dalha and Bahu to go get pads and um, they went to the shop and they bought like the thickest pads we've ever seen in our lives. <laughs> So like these were these were nappies. These were fucking like actual nappies, and they thought that the thicker the pad, the better quality it is, or like whatever, <laughs> the more absorbent. Yeah. So they thought like it was like they more, bought actual nappies, like literal like you. They could, were like thick. Like I could have like you could wee for the whole day <laughs> in that pad. I don't get it. You I know, remember when you go abroad. Their pads are so much thicker than you get really? in this country. Yeah. Like. Every, every, you know, Greece, Amsterdam, anywhere, like you always find really, really thick pants, but I can never find the really thick ones here. Has anyone tried period pants? Abby was no. talking about them. No. Um, secondly, um, I haven't tried them, but I've heard good things. Secondly, if you get bad period pains, try CBD tampons because they're really good. Also, Nuri was telling me about um, evening primrose and starflower vitamins. So I've ordered them, they just arrived today. So I'm going to try them and they're supposed to like be amazing for cramps but also if you're menopausal it really really controls your symptoms apparently the reviews are really good so i'll let you guys know elena told me to vlog this so i'm vlogging it we all just got coffee from here we've got black americano single shot because i'm a lightweight are you recording yeah you actually meant to vlog we're moving a bit but not properly. So tell them what we're on. We are on a Ferris wheel, guys. We've got views of Shakespeare's own town. <laughs> Everyone enjoying this, though. We've got, they let you bring the coffee. Yeah, they did. Look at that. Oh, my dear. We've got this thing here, which is annoying. It's just, I should move that. Oh, my. And, um, there's a gap right there. <gasps> There's a gap. <laughs> Can you fit through that gap? <laughs> it's quite nice though. The dog we have the uh, yeah. little river there. We're Looking going gorgeous. On a private boat trip. I think it's that that white one there. Could be. Yeah. That Is white it? one there. Um, the picture's on mine. Hold on. I quite like that one. That but one or that one. We like to also know which boat we have. Yeah. Well, and we like fine. to book the best we can <laughs> every holiday. That's our favourite thing to do. Go hard or go yard. Why'd you go on holiday? <laughs> <laughs> I leave it all to Alina to do because she's good at stuff. Like Is she a good planner? She's really I'm good. I'm such a good planner. I planned the out of the day and then these got complained. But, mm, yeah. I can tell she was one of the first up with you. Yeah. I was saying to her that like if you and Omar went on holiday together, oh my god, it'd be jam packed, wouldn't it? Yeah. And you'd be up at like 6 a.m. Oh, we're going up higher, guys. Look up. Whoa. Look at the crowds. Oh Imagine god, the levels. Like of coronavirus down there. I don't think there's going to be a lot of coronavirus. I'm of the thought that if you're outside, you're all right. Okay, now Probably. it's getting a bit sacred it's and we're only halfway. Swinging. One. Oh, it's going fast down. Oh, they're there. Oh, wow. Oh, when did they get there? Why is it like that? It's serious chat. <laughs> Hello. 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 I'm having a feast. Magnum. I'm not. I'm not happy about the fact that mint <laughs> feast is not readily available everywhere now. We tried to find it the other day as well. And it wasn't there. What's that all about? You never had it. To be fair. You never had a mint feast. No. I'm gonna get you one. Oh, you don't like mint. Yeah. I'm gonna get you anyway. Guys, this is our boat. Oh, so exciting. Me too. I'll be with you in a second. Thank okay. you. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Get it while we're Take a picture of a feast. That's how much she loves it. <laughs> Guys, can you all look here for a minute? We just got an amazing picture. And do you want to show the picture here? Why? Oh my, you look angry because of the song. That's right. 
model. Look. <laughs> Ramesh, how is your ice cream? Ramesh, how is your ice cream? Yeah. I'm good. I've never had a piece before, so I'm gonna do a taste. You haven't ever had a piece? The thing is, it only gets better. Yeah. yeah the hard chocolate. That's the best thing. The inside bit is like the Cookie. inside of a cornetto, but yeah. it's massive. You know you can buy them cornetto things separately now. Yeah, well, you, you can, can buy them in a bag of them, yeah. yeah. What, just that kind of yeah. Yeah. average? They're no, it's in not. The I haven't gone. Nice. So why? You should have huh? Selena's food test. What did she do? She's like, this is average. I'll have another bite. But did she you actually not, said average? Did you, did yeah. You, yeah. No, I haven't just had any of that bit. You have to wait until I get to it and then you can have it. Actually, you can have it, it's right there. I feel like you have to have it. She didn't even eat the inside bit. You can make a judgment on you, you can eat the inside bit. It's like eating the cornetto, didn't eat the end of the cornetto, and make a judgment before you made it again to the cornetto. We love a good boat ride. We do. Oh, that's so nice. There's a Ferris wheel in the back. It's very picturesque. Yes. And we're about to head out to see. We're not going to do that. I think river boats are made for rivers. Yes. <laughs> So guys, we've been trying to find a restaurant for a while. Sadly, we, well not so sadly, we got turned away from another place. Um, not so nicely. And then we carried on walking and we found this restaurant and Alina, being Alina, um, was like, oh my god, this restaurant's amazing. Um, she also knows food very well. So we're here now. It's called Giggling Squid. She's highly hyped the food, so let's see if it's good because she does that, doesn't she? Alina, is the food here good? It's absolutely sensational. She said it was one of her, she said it's the best restaurant in the world. No, I didn't. I said it's one of the best. One of the best restaurants. You know what? We'll come back to you in 10 to 15 minutes and I really thought everyone likes food. Everyone wants the same thing. She recommended two things and everyone got the same thing. Everyone jumped on it. Everyone got the sticky chicken. Let's see. It's also beautiful. It is quite beautiful. The food is gonna be a while, but they gave some prawn crackers on crackers crackers on the house, and they're really good. They're like a bit they're like a bit spicy, aren't they? They're flavorful. Got a little kick to them. Normally they're like proper white. I'm really enjoying them. The food has arrived. Oh my god, exciting! Oh, I forgot to ask for mine to be spicy. <laughs> okay, so we have. For starter, I have mini spring rolls and then vegetarian pad thai, but I asked for it spicy. He gave this um, spices. It's not focused, but you get it. Ramesh? Uh, this is chicken grappa. It's like a spicy chicken basil thing. Ooh, and jasmine rice and fried egg. Mm. Egg, spicy fried egg. Alina? Papaya salad, which is absolutely sensational. And our food hasn't come yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> So this is the sticky chicken that every single person ordered on my recommendation. And that's the rice. Uh, the rice. Yeah. We're we'll waiting for spring rolls, but that's the table. And the food hasn't arrived yet. We got three sticky chickens over here. And they all have got grapao something something. This smells really good. This is, I hope this is good. Mm. Oh, I need my rice, which will be here soon, hopefully. Yay. Oh my god, this is so good. I don't know why she's so good with food recommendations. Love it. Thank you so much. Yum. Mm. Right, Alina, quick, what's your flavor? Amaretti cherry coffee. Oma, birthday cake. Pistachio and hazelnut. I got pistachio and Snickers. Dala, quick. Caramel cookie and uh, coffee. Salted caramel. Ferrero Rocher and Snickers. Guys, this is um, Hooray's British Gelato Kitchen in Stratford-upon-Avon. It's real good. So guys, I was feeling really sick and I wasn't going to get anything. And I'm really glad I did. So I just feel like sharing that. Just live your life and just do, do the thing that your heart says. <laughs> also, I wanted to try everyone's ice cream and I kept biting it. <laughs> they were like, what the f*** are you doing? <laughs> also, Ramesh found plastic in it. <laughs> So, Appy was stood there like, I 
found plastic in my ice cream. <laughs> and then I was on the floor laughing because I just bit the last ice cream and he was like, what the f did you just do? And then Omar was like, animal. guys, we need to leave. It was so funny. Like <laughs> That's really funny. It was really funny. Yeah. I, could, I could hear everything going on and it was making it so much funnier. So guys, we're in a butterfly farm now. Oh my God. Uh, so cute. What color is it? It's see through. Oh. oh my Guys, Oma just told me there's this caterpillar that turns into a snake mimic to scare its enemies, the birds. But it's actually just a caterpillar. And then that's actually just not its eyes. It does that to scare the birds away. That is wow. Try to get that protein. <laughs> Look at the he's actually munching away at the leaf one. That's mental. Yeah. Guys, cocoons. What's your Instagram? Dollhar is that. T A L H A R A W Z A Q. I'm amazed. My mum would have loved this. Uh, why does that she come out with us? Oh my god. Oh. Guys, can you see that iguana? Kind of thing. And all the fish. And there's one on top there. Can you see it, Oma? No. On top of the bricks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can you see the one over here? Look, that's his spine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to help them. The path is so complicated. Where are they going? Dancing. Iguana. Dancing. Iguana. Oma, do you know where that's from? No. That's a raven. So guys, we're on a tour. That's the tour guide. Walked around Stratford-upon-Avon. Avon. And uh, learning a lot of things. I'm quite happy with my remembrance of Macbeth. Yeah, I was really impressed by I, that. But then I, I, I knew it straight away, but I thought Macbeth was a woman. I remember there's a bit, I think there's like two or something. Or oh, Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth, yeah. Oh yeah, and then Macbeth is the guy. Because I always remember the rubbing hands thing. Yeah, what were you saying? I can't remember now. You were saying about your knowledge of Shakespeare. Oh yeah, I need to like read up again because I've forgotten like so much. I feel, I, I like, we should continue like the stuff that we used to do in school, like reading like these things that everyone knows that we just don't. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, top secret. You guys aren't supposed to know this, but we always have a better vlog, which is just personal, which is always made by Ramesh. Maybe we'll let you see one. So anyway, our mums, being our mums, packed us a little picnic. Not little, look at this huge ass picnic. And, um, there's pasties. Can you do a tin and a tin and a and do, do we have that vlog? <laughs> yeah. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Dalhab and Tahir. Eating chicken tikka and roti and it tastes so good. None. It actually tastes so good. Can you feed me, please? I didn't antibacterialize my hand. Happy. Still are. What happened? Thank you. Why does everybody look drunk? <laughs> what? You charge this fifty pound extra for the book, then what's advertised? <laughs> Yeah, so it says £100 on the website, he goes, yeah, it's 150 today. <laughs> I was like, today? <laughs> and then, yeah, I agree. He didn't even give a Really? Yeah, that restaurant was, those people in there were definitely racist. Which and restaurant? 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Three, two, one, go. Okay. Don't have this way. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> 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 Rest a bit too far, and then you try again. You're just playing. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Do you need a bit of help, Bella? Yeah. Come on, now, man. Right hand on the pink. Yeah. Feet up. Oh, easy. No nice. problem. And um. Keep going. Feet up. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, yeah, nice. And then you get your right foot on there. Yeah. Come on, Sarah, and keep going. Use your toes on this. That's it. Nice. God ain't doing this for you. You doing this. <laughs> Okay, bow. Bow, push out with your feet. And with the actual feet, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Are you alright? No, that's just fatigue. <laughs> because you put your all into it. You're on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That was really good. Thanks, that was really hard. Cool. <laughs> How did he know it was that? He plans it before he goes. Oh my god, mashallah. I'm just gonna go from his. <laughs> that was next level. That was next level. <laughs> that was amazing. This angle, whenever I push up, I just feel like I'm going up and back. Do you know what it is? Your toes need to press in so hard. Like, your hands aren't that important. Like, you've got the upper body strength for that. Yeah. It's about like, yeah, when you go up, can you keep your toe in there? Can you keep it hooked in? Like, right now, even though I'm going for this, I'm actually just thinking about my feet and I'm just thinking about toning them in there. Yeah. Because once you lose your feet, it's just like, yeah, it's all in the arms and off, it's just Yeah, so that's what I need to try and do.